and West Ham couldn't have had a better start. A cross here by Billy Jennings, and some good finishing by Patsy Holland. A good knockdown by Billy Bonds with a header, and Patsy Holland giving West Ham the best possible start. It was a lead they held until almost half time when poor Frank Lampard badly mishit this back pass. The Belgians now in full flight, and here's Robbie Rensenbury keeping his head, finding the net, and that made it 1 1. The Belgians took the lead quite early in the second half, and again it was Rensenbrink to the fore. A great run, too, by Francois van der Elst, and a good finishing touch by him, and the Belgians are in the lead. But West Ham were far from finished. Trevor Brooking down the left flank now, and a good cross by Brooking met by the head of Keith Robson, and suddenly the West Ham side were level at 2 2. But the last word belonged to Anderlecht. There's a penalty coming up now as Rensenbrink is brought down. And for the second time, the Belgians have the opportunity of taking the lead. Rensenbrink himself takes the spot kick. And that puts them 3-2 into the lead. There was a great final flourish from Anderlecht as uh, Rensenbrink finds Francois van der Els soon to join West Ham, of course. A good solo effort by him. And there's the ball in the back of the West Ham net. And West Ham are beaten by four goals to two.